Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be a bit of everything actually. I've got some pickups here and I'm going to talk about some upcoming videos. First of all, I'd like to talk to you about this upcoming video of my good friend Michael Hewitt who sent me some great stuff. I do know what is in here. Me, Michael and Rock God 2004 met up at the Merit Centre the other day. And when we were having our coffee, Michael said to us, do you want to look and see what is in here? I couldn't believe what I saw in here. Also, there's something else as well, which is downstairs. So I will do a separate video for those things. And I can't thank Michael and Elaine enough for thinking of me and giving me this amazing stuff here. So speaking of Rock God 2004, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He's just passed 600 subscribers, which is amazing. Excellent work. So what Nige passed across to me the other day when we went to see the video on Nasty's live stream. So there was Laura. This is Rock God 2004. There was Nige Rock God 2004. There was John Hall who I met there, and also myself. It was great to meet Laura and Simba. And also for John Hall to meet Nige. It was a really good air uh, meetup. So the film, like that one, Nige, that he passed across to me is a Section 3 Video Nasty Superstition. Now, this is from 1982, and I don't know anything about this movie, but Nige reckons it's really good. And also that Keith from Euphoria Pictures, linked to his channel down below, he said that he likes this movie as well, and he rates it very highly. So I'm really intrigued to see that. And then that's another video nasty crossed off my list. So when I come back at the end of this video, after opening two parcels over there, I'll tell you what I thought of this uh, presentation. So I want to thank Nige once again for thinking of me and sending me this uh, quite, well, I've never heard of it before, I've never even seen it. You know, on the shelves, that's superstition. Also, when I met up with Nige, he passed across a parcel that had been sent to him, to me, care of me, from my good friend, Bard Lieutenant. Now, Bard Lieutenant has been coming to my videos since day one. He's a great kid and he knows a lot about movies as well. So this was sent to Mr. This is how it's spelled. Nigel Craig, if I've got that right. Uh, I'm not good about your address, Nige. And he said, he's going to send this to me where I send it He's going to send it to Rock God. And I said, that's great because I'm going to meet him soon. So he passed it across to me. It's a couple of days I've kept it because I wanted to open this because I've had some work done outside and that's sort of been ongoing. And it's finished now. But it was one of those things where I've been out as well. I've been meeting Nige, been meeting Michael Hewitt. So I've been pretty much out all week. So I haven't had the time or light, should I say, to actually open these things when you can actually see what's going on. So I'll get into that now. So Nurse Scissors. And I want to thank Bard Lieutenant for sending this to me. Now, what I'm going to have to do with this, I'm going to have to put my glasses on to read this note. So, what Bard Lieutenant sent to me was... Oh, yes, that's it. This one, The Baby. Yes, he did talk, talk to me about this uh, movie, and he did say, have you got it? And I said, well, actually, weirdly enough, I did want to get this one. I was going to get it in. Oh. And also, it's got the booklet in as well. So that's amazing. And I had it in my hands quite a few times in sales, but she never pulled the trick on it. Got reversible art here, which I don't think I've ever seen before. I can get the disc out. So that's amazing. Look at that cover. Wow. Three, four, close the door. What goes on in this nursery isn't for kids. <laughs> Honestly. There shall be mayhem wherever he goes. This sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Also, you do get an R card there, I've noticed, for Deep Red. Great post that. That could do a going on my wall somewhere, you know, there. I think I should put some of these up in the studio. It's not a garage. So that's the Arrow video version of the baby from Bad Lieutenant. So thanks once again, mate. Really appreciate that. And I'll be reading that letter when I get me glasses. Cheers, mate. And next, I want to thank my good friend, Matt Chapman, for getting in touch with me and telling me about this release. Now, this got sent to me from eBay. And he said to us, have you seen this? Look what I picked up. And I said, you're kidding me. You picked this up for that price? He said, yeah. I think it comes from Korea or Japan. He said, but take a look at what it is. And I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Because as you know, when you see this, you will understand. This is rock hard to get on Blu-ray. Now, I've got the DVD version of this. And I was so, I'm so intrigued to see this on Blu-ray to see what it looks like. It was only twelve ninety nine. That's with free P and P. So this is a steal. Bearing in mind that the other one goes for, well, about £100, I would say, or more. What I'll do is I'll get into this. 
have a look at it, show you it is, and I'll compare it with my DVD, do some screenshots, and tell you exactly what I think of this. And if you can, if you think that this is something you'd be wanting to get a hold of, I do think this is touted to come out in 4K, but not yet. Might be one of those ones that talk about, and then about 50 years later, it comes out in 4K. Are you listening, James Cameron? So I'll get into this, and I'll tell you what I think of it. And thanks once again to Matt Chapman for letting me know about this. It's great when you get people who get in touch with me on Instagram, warrenpeace 666 and they say, hey, have you seen this? Have you seen that? And I go, no, I haven't. And I'm there, you know. So, Nurse Scalpel, thank you. So, the movie that Matt Chapman told me about for twelve ninety nine on Blu-ray, that isn't released in the UK at all. Actually, the amount of bubble wrap on this is amazing. The movie is, if I get the right way up, I bet it's not. Brain Dead on Blu-ray. Look at that. Now, I don't know about you. Oh, look, embossing. I like that. Now, the thing about this movie is, when you see it with this cover, it's called Dead Alive. Now, I, I just know this movie is brain dead. And this movie is absolutely amazing. I've got the DVD down there. I've had the DVD for years. And it's one of the most glorious films you will ever see in your life. Peter Jackson, Lord of Rings, he did this movie. And this is his greatest horror film, horror film, horror comedy of all time. The effects in here, the blood in here are like nothing else. This should have a legitimate release in the UK, but it just doesn't. I just don't know what's going on with this movie. But I have heard that Peter Jackson is going to go back to his earlier stuff and bring it all out in 4K, which I hope that happens. I know he's busy with the Beatles at the minute. But I'll, when I go, th I've got region free there, so that's good. I got, I'm not too sure where this has come from or who released it, but all I know is that when you when you see this on, on Blu-ray for twelve ninety nine which is actually quite probably cheaper than most UK titles these days. You can't believe that this thing is there, especially with a slipcover as well. So what I'll do is I'll get into this one. I'll also tell you what I think about that. Do some screenshots of this, because I haven't actually checked this one out yet. And I'm going to check this one out as well. And I'm going to tell you what I think the picture quality and then a little bit of a flavour of what I think the movie. And also the card here, this is where I got it from. This is on eBay. And I've got to say that the, I've got nothing but praise for this seller, for the way it was sent. I'm going to go back and leave positive feedback now. And yeah, so twelve ninety nine for something. I mean, I, do, I dread to think how much this cost, the U, US one cost. I don't know if it's got any special features on. I'm not too sure. But if you go across to there, and you may be able to find, I think it's pretty much not sold out, but maybe they might be getting a new shipment in and getting some more in there. But if you're up, up for that, and like I say, I will tell you exactly what it looks like after uh, when I go and check them out downstairs, which you'll see in about 10 seconds' time. So, see you soon. So first up is Superstition, and I thought it's looked really good. Yeah, I don't know anything about this movie, but when I just told me he was going to give me a Section 3 barn video nasty, I said, yes, please. Now, this movie is from 1982. I think it's more like a like a witch type of thing, from what I can gather. And don't know anything about it, but I like these type of movies, especially from the early 80s, when you think, you know, it had something about them, must have been on that list for a reason. And actually, the Section 3 ban video nasties are something that are quite hard to get a hold of. Some of the movies in there are really the hardest out the whole lot, much harder than the, the first Section 1 or Section 2. I don't know why that is, but it just seems to be that that's the way they go. Now, speaking of our video nasties, speaking of our video nasties live stream, hopefully, fingers crossed, next week, we, we will be doing, me and Nigel, because Nigel always wants to do it, and so do I. It's just a case of when things, you know, align. And I think, you know, touch wood, that I think we might be able to do another one, the next one, next week. So I'm really looking forward to that. If it doesn't happen, it'll be happening soon. But hopefully, next week will be the time when we can do this next video nasty's live stream because we'll always have a great time doing that and we'll get great responses for them as well so looking forward to the next video nasty's live stream so thanks once again nige this looks really interesting that's superstition so next up is a letter from bad lieutenant nurse spectacles thank you they put me eye out there that'd be good wouldn't it dear john just a quick note to firstly say thanks for all your videos i really enjoyed watching all of them wow and hope that there'll be many more to follow. Yes, definitely will be. Yours and Nigel's have 
have and continue to help me through some dark times in my life, well, I really do appreciate that. And it, it's great to think if anybody gets something out of this or takes the mind off the world, you know, just us talking about, you know, movies and just things that we like to do, that's a great way to think about it, that you can just zone out and just, you know, just listen to us, rub it on. So that's excellent. Please find enclosed with this note a copy of the Arrow Blu-ray release. It's without doubt one of the strangest films that you will ever see like that. And it's definitely unique too. The only film I can think of that comes anywhere close to this is Harry Extra Bromley Davenport's Mockingbirds Don't Sing, which was based on the true story of a gentle teenager, teenage girl who spent most of her time growing up in a room, bound to a high chair with little human contact. Highly recommended. Well, wow, that sounds a bit heavy. I managed to find a copy with the booklet enclosed. I'm not sure if it ever came with a slipcase. I wonder if that's about the baby, actually. As mine from HMV didn't come with one. No, it didn't come with a slip. I, I know for sure that one didn't. Unless another company did did a limited release of one. Yeah, possibly, but I think that's been released by somebody else. Probably Vinegar Syndrome, actually, when I come to think of it. Or one like that. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. And I look forward to hearing what you think of it. Yes, I'll talk about that on a the you know when you say what I've watched this month and I haven't done one for quite a while. I'm gonna bring you up to date with saying what I've what I've seen in the month of I think it's about March to, to now. I'm gonna give you the highlights of that and go back to doing what I talk what I watch on the month. Because I kind of got out of the habit of that. I hope that your recent health scare will be soon sorted out. It goes without saying that I pass my best wishes on to yourself and de the Debs and your family. Anywho, enough of my yammering. If you ever want to talk to someone about everything and nothing, so that's amazing. And yes, I will be contacting you. And a brief note on that. It's it's still ongoing. I'm going to have to wait about two weeks to find out the results of it. And hopefully it'll not be anything massive. It might be something. It might not be anything. At this point, I can't really, I don't even want to talk about it because it might be nothing. Now, what happens if I made a video and says, hey, I think I've got X, not X, you know, and then I haven't, and it looks like a huge bit of clickbait, because this isn't about clickbait. This is just about me saying that some of the videos might be a little bit strung out. You know, they might not be as as uh, soon as they should be, as you usually are, just because I might be doing other things, you know, to do with this this health thing. But it, it's not a, it's not any form of, like, you know, oh, woe is me. It, it's far from that. It's just me giving the heads up to say, if I disappear for a little bit, you know that there's something, there's something up. Well, nothing hopefully bad. Anyway, that's enough of me yammering on. But thanks once again, mate. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to watch this. So I did put this on. And you're right. It is. It does sort of defy description when I put it on. I thought I couldn't really get a flavour of it. Just it was this kid. And he was in this uh, this sort of cot, for want of a better word. And there was all these people around him. To be honest, when you, when you see movies like this, Sometimes you want to be trans. There's plenty of movies like, bit like Spider Baby, when you you think, wow, what, what on earth is this about? And you get sort of like drawn into this world of what this is. So this is from 1973, and actually it's got two versions on here. It's got the widescreen one and the full screen one. The full screen one is the one to watch because that's the one with all the information on. The widescreen one would be blown up, as you know. More about that in a minute. And yeah, this is a great film to to uh, the one that I've been after watching for quite a while. Uh, it's, it's got packed with uh, special features, of course, like o it always does on Arrow. So thanks once again, BL. That's amazing, mate. Cheers. So finally, it's brain dead. Now, with this taking them glasses off, I can't see the screen. But hopefully, I've got this right way around. Now, what I didn't, what I did was I took off the shrink wrap. I don't usually take the shrink wrap off because the sticker was on. I couldn't take it off without it kind of wrecking the shrink wrap. I took it off. I'm glad I did, actually, because look at this. You get this, and it tells you a little bit more info about the movie haven't seen that one before now i'm gonna say that this movie is probably from korea this version and uh, this has got you can't really see that but this has got such a really nice texture it's got embossing there is this embossed yeah well it's spot gloss as well and you get the subtitles on i'm pretty sure this is korean and i think this is because they can get around the copyright law in korea now, when I when I got this out here, cause like I said, this shrink, this uh, this slipcase is amazing. 
It's so thick. Well, obviously it is thick on that side, but it's a really high quality slip cover. Now, when I got the movie out, the movie does look like it's a copy. But that's not taking anything away from this movie. Now, can you get this movie on Blu-ray cheaply? No, you can't. But you can with this this uh, release. So, uh, first of all, I went back to my DVD and had a look on that just to see what I thought of it. Now, the DVD, I can't really remember much about it. I do remember that it's probably full. This movie is a full screen movie. It's shot square. And that one's widescreen. So the, the clips you'll see from the Blu-ray, the DVD, will be in full screen. But actually, when it comes up, you get black bars at the top and the bottom and the sides. So it's like a smaller square. I know you can blow that up on your, on your TV. I don't really like doing that. But it tends to taste with the quality as well. So anyway, when I put this on, it's got no special features. It's the only way you can get it in the UK at the minute. So I think it's got a, it. I don't even think it's a, um, much of a soundtrack on it. There's your full screen there. And it's uh, it's just basically a bare bones release, sadly, because I think this movie does look, is it, is it one of the goriest movies ever? Yes, it is. And it's quite a cheap movie as well, so don't go in and think this is going to be a blockbuster from Peter Jackson. It's not at all. It's ultra cheap, but the gore effects on here are second to none. And when I watched it, I thought I was quite surprised at how low quality the DVD was. I always thought the DVD was quite good quality. I know I had this on VHS, and to be honest, I think the VHS looked better than this there DVD on reflection. I haven't got the VHS anymore. Actually, did I have on a double bill with their bad taste? I think I did. Possibly. So yes, yeah, so that's the DVD. So the getting back to the Blu-ray. I'll put this on, and on here you do get special features. Now the special features is just a trailer, and you get the trailer on here, so you get nothing really extra of that, sadly. But the stereo and the, the soundtrack in here is 5.1. It's only 2.0 2 in there, if that. And the soundtrack in here sounds much better. What's the picture quality like? I've got to say the picture quality in here is a huge uptick from this one, as you'll see from the uh, screenshots. Now, this one is in uh, 178, so it's full screen. It's a full screen of the TV. It looks good, but you can tell it's, you can tell it from this. If you put them side by side, you can see there's some cropping at the top and the bottom, but it's not a huge amount. So is this the best version on Blu-ray? I don't think it is because I think the US one would probably top it, but it's absolutely massively out of print and a huge ticket price which i for one is not paying because i'm sure this will come out in 4k and if it does come out in 4k it will definitely be uh widely available but as as a one that i want to watch i want to be much watch this for quite a while and i'm glad i didn't actually because the pitch quality here is quite uh doer uh, is that a word and this one here is a giant uptick it's not it's not flawless there is white flex on the the, the screen there is problems with it they like say the frame is not exactly right but it doesn't matter because this is I, I forgot how actually how colorful this movie is just in general and you can really see the colors come to life on here and this uh, slip case is just worth having for the slip case say 12.99 from this company here i do think it's worth it i do think it's, it's you can say this is a really good placeholder for this movie at this point if you want to see this in the best quality available at a sensible price I would definitely go for this one. And like I say, this one from this company, get yourself over there and see what they've got. I'm sure they're going to get more of these. This does like it was manufactured in Korea, and it's probably not by any particular company. As you know, they don't really have copyright laws in their country, so they can put, basically put anything out. But yeah, for this for this price, you can't grumble at this. And it's definitely, it's got, that's English text, isn't it? I can say my eyes are terrible. But that's the your text at the bottom there. So I do think that this obviously is a um this is a copy, but it's a really good copy. And yes, yeah, so the, the picture quality when you see it, you'll see first of all, you'll see the square frame kind of it's really like a small box or smaller box on the, uh, the DVD, and then you're gonna see this uptick, I think a good uptick on this uh imported Blu-ray. So I want to thank Michael Hewitt, Nige Rock God 2004, 
link down below. Bart Lieutenant for this one, and also Matt Chapman for telling me about this uh, really big uptick on quality of Brain Dead. So, thanks for watching, and hopefully next week there will be some kind, there will be more videos out actually because I'm off work next week, but I'm hoping that I will get that live stream going, or maybe a live stream just, just to chat anyway. So, thanks for watching, you take care, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!